very difficult to know. Um, you see, uh, I, if, if I could really control the weather, I don't think they'd allow a blizzard to happen when Obama landed in Copenhagen. So it certainly couldn't be, couldn't be that, that good. But um, I, I do, I'm aware of these things that uh, are, they are doing experiments with. And I know some things do work to an extent. Now, there's a curious little story about what happened in China recently, uh, because in this period, the 17th to 19th of, of, of November, uh, which we had predicted would be a lot of extreme weather, uh, in China, there was, uh, a, well, the Chinese reported three million people were, had to be moved out of their homes because of absolutely massive snowstorms. And there was also a story around that although there may have been natural processes going on, that they were also cloud seeding at the same time or just before, and it had made these worse. Now, the problem is, of course, we've got no way of, of verifying this because the Chinese government aren't going to say that they did this, which resulted in 32 people dying when some buildings collapsed. Uh, but we do know as well there were very real events around the world which we had predicted a long time ahead. Well... So, uh, and they're based on looking back in the past, so there's, there's sure. no way that, that they could have, anyone <laughs> knew what we were saying anyway. So, Well, I tend to agree with you because I've talked to Ben Livingston, the father of weather weapons and others, mm -hmm. and he said they can, with the right conditions, they could make a hurricane, mm -hmm. they could strengthen one or weaken one. But he said that when the giant weather system is coming in, that it's so huge that it's hard to control. But he says yeah, in smaller areas, that. they can manipulate things. And, 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 and I would know, that, well, the Russians... They've got to have the situation there already to, to, like, be triggered. I would have thought, yes. Absolutely. But, but on top of that, it isn't that they couldn't knock out a smaller snowstorm. The Russians brag they can do that. It's that if you've got a giant northern blast coming in, it would be too big for them to manipulate. Oh, sure. I'm, I'm no doubt that they, I'm sure it can't be done. And, and uh, well, I say never will be done. But you have to be careful about never these days. You just don't know what's possible. But, you know, the Sun-Earth lunar system is vastly more powerful than anything man can mobilize. But, but of course, if man can play at the critical edges when something is tipping one way or the other, then there are possibilities, but they only work at those times, and those times occur due to natural processes. So any control is only limited to certain certain sensitive areas, such as when our solar weather impact periods are happening, and those are very definitely uh, periods. Where so what is going on with the sun the right now? I mean, no, why, has it been, uh, why have we been cooling for nine years? We've been cooling for nine years uh, essentially because of the uh, well, a decline in solar activity and it being a odd sunspot cycle we're just leaving. Uh, and the, the, when that happens in an odd sunspot cycle, you will get less, less warming. Um, we're also in the situation where the effect of the moon is to, uh, limit the effect of, 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 of particles which are, which would cause warming. Um, when you get into an even cycle, things change, and, and in fact, even cycles are generally colder than odd cycles, and we're now entering an even cycle. Sir, what would, I mean, as a leading even, astrophysicist... Even standard, you see, with cycle 23, we're just finishing, and we started cycle 24. Sure. I mean, as a leading astrophysicist and someone who studies the, the entire Earth-Sun-Moon relationship, yeah. what type of cycle or or what area of the cycle were we in 9,000 years ago when the warming was, according to the graphs I've seen, much hotter than it's been in the last century? Right. Well, to be specific, we'd have to look carefully, but the, the world temperature will depend on the solar activity and how well that activity actually reaches Earth, which is about magnetic connectivity. And that is going to be affected not just by the 22-year magnetic cycle of the sun, but also by their close orientation of the Earth's axis relative to the sun's uh, magnetic axis. So there's that question. There's a question of the solar-lunar things, and then there's a the question of the slow 
cycles of general solar activity, which are, they're not just operating on the scale of 11 years or so, but uh, uh, on hundreds of years, if not many hundreds of years. So it's going to be all those combinations of the solar activity, lunar modulations, and, and um, uh, orientation. So I couldn't be specific exactly to say, but uh, we could, should, in principle, be able to predict when in the future similar things could, will happen again. When will we have something uh, close to what happened during the beginning of the Bronze Age? I mean, the heating well, up. Maybe never, because, you see, sometime there's got to be a return to an ice age. The, the natural state of the world for the last few million years is ice ages with intermittent warm periods lasting, you know, typically 10,000 years, which we're in now, and we are, you know, in year 10,000 now. So, logically, there is an ice age due. Now, it might have been that was almost an ice age coming... Uh, uh, at about zero AD, because you know, since then, or a thousand AD, since then it has been uh, 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 notably colder. But we don't know. What, what we can say about the next hundred years is, according to our our theory, and I don't like using the word model because we, we you know, it is we base it on observations and equations rather than playing games with computers, uh, although we do use computers, of course. Our theory shows that uh, uh, we're in for a continuing general cooling. There will be fluctuations in it, but we don't expect uh, to uh, ever get to above the 1998 levels. Of world Amazing. World. Let's get into their years. fraud when we come back. We've got a break, sir. Uh, Piers Corbin as our guest. Amazing information. Finishing up with one of the leading, appears Corbin, heads up weatheraction.com, a astrophysicist, meteorologist. His forecast, from my research, are among some of the most accurate out there years ahead. And he does this by knowing the history. Those that don't know history are doomed to repeat it. I believe Laura Acton said that, or did he say power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. <laughs> He said a lot of things, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've got a few minutes left here. We're going to come back with some longer segments, specifically... I understand the Ice Age is 100, 200, 400, 500. We just know we're due for another one. We're going into a cooling trend now. What would an Ice Age look like? Well, uh, they take about a couple of thousand years to develop fully, but uh, what happens is the ice caps in both uh, hemispheres would increase in size, and it just gets progressively colder, and the sea freezes over uh, in the in the uh, polar regions, and uh, it all just makes the uh, you know moves moves towards the the equator. So typically across the uh, United States of America, you'd have a, 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 an ice front, you know, and, and an ice cap would extend there. And in the case of the last ice age in Britain, it went through the middle of Britain. So the south of England was actually ice not ice, and the Scotland and the whole of northern England and, and uh, most of Ireland was covered in ice. And you could walk to Europe, and uh, the whole of Russia would have been covered in ice and Scandinavia covered in ice. So if an ice age comes, all those people would come south. You, so all the Canadians, Scandinavians, and Russians would all come south. Or else they'd find ways of uh, overcoming this by building things on the ice, which is an interesting was there idea. Was there a more ancient ice age? I mean, because I know that the ice uh, came all oh, the way yeah. down to Texas. So oh, some yeah. are bigger, there some were smaller. other ice ages which came down further than the last one. That, that, is, that is, is, is correct. Um, they've been different sizes, and they happen typically every 100,000 years or 90,000 years or 120,000 years. All right, Very we'll be right back. Back in one minute.